In this video, we will talk about how to set up a Node Zero runner so that you can automate the deployment of your Node Zero pen test. In order to get started, the first thing is to go to our documentation page. Our documentation is found at docs.horizon3ai.com. I'm under the reference section and automate Node Zero deployment. There are a few high level steps. The first high level step is to create an API key that can be done in the Node Zero portal. If you head over here and then you go to your account settings, you will see an API key section. You can click generate API key, and then you can choose different permission levels. The Node Zero runner only has permissions to run pen tests and nothing more. It cannot query such as get data or post data with our API. That is the one that we recommend for setting up a runner. You also have read only and user for different use cases. Once you select your runner, you can hit add key. The key is posted right here where you can copy it and then close. If you ever need to delete the key, you can also revoke them right here and revoke the API key. Hit it back over to our documentation. The next thing to do is to install the H3 CLI on your Docker host. I have a Docker VM right here and I have already gone ahead and get cloned the repo. The steps to do that are right below. So here's the first steps for creating an API key, how to install the H3 CLI. So get clone, you would change directory into that, um, that folder, bash install with your API key right here, and then export a few variables. After you do that, you should be able to run the H3 command from the terminal. I will type H3 and hit enter. And then you will see that all of this help text is displayed. We can run some basic ones such as H3 hello world, H3 who am I, just to verify that our API key is correctly set up. The section that we're mainly interested in is the node zero runner section. This is where we will actually create start and stop runners. The first command that we can try to run is H3 runners to see if we have any runners at all created. So H3 runners and nothing comes back. So we don't have any runners yet. The next step would be to create it. So if we scroll down, H3 start runner, give it a name, my node zero runner, and then give it a file for the log to go. The file is going to go to the temp directory, my node zero runner dot log. You can change these names as you like. And additionally, if you look in the documentation right here, H3 start runner name log file. This will run a node zero runner as a background process and assign it a name and all the logs will go to that log file. So if we paste this command, we can see that it already has started up the runner. So starting node zero runner, and then to stream the logs, you can do tail dash F temp my node zero runner log. And it says that the runner has started. Nothing else has happened at this point. From here, we can go back to the portal. We'll go back to the pen test page, click run a pen test. We can click through these steps. And then here you should see runner, optional, my node zero runner. It had a last contact of 29 seconds ago. So as the runner is on and running, it will continue to communicate with Horizon 3 to let it know that this runner is indeed up and running. That is one spot where you can at least verify it. Additionally, you can do create schedule, schedule an internal pen test, and you would see the runner here as well. So there's two spots that you can confirm it. To create a schedule, we will do that in a different video, but as far as running a pen test now with that runner, we can choose internal pen test. I will go with the default template. I will go ahead and just give it the default name. And instead now I'm going to use my node zero runner. From here, I can define a scope. I can configure it more. I can give it open source intelligence, attack configuration, runtime. Finally, I will review my pen test config and hit run pen test. And then here at the deploy step, this will now be pushed to your node zero runner. So the pen test will automatically be deployed to your runner, my node zero runner. If you need to manually intervene, such as the runner has lost contact, it went offline, or you need to manually deploy it, you can always take the curl script right here and copy and paste it if you like. At this point, we can go back over to our VM and eventually we will see if we're tailing the logs that this pen test will kick off and start running. 
From there, that's all you have to do to set up a runner. Additionally, there is a column in the pen test list called runner that will display the runners that you have set up and you can sort by that. If you don't see it, you can always click on the columns over here and look for the runner. That is how you will set up a Node Zero runner within Horizon 3.